Hi friends, you all know servo motor is a very important component as actuator in robotics. Now what is an actuator? A device that converts the electrical energy into physical motion. Like an ACDC motor, a servo motor which can rotate a very precise angle or a stepper motor or hydraulic. Now, in a servo motor, there is a DC motor and then there are multiple gears to reduce the speed so that the external shaft rotate at low speed but at provide high torque which is physically connected with the port. The port is connected to a control circuit. The control circuit then gets the pulse from the outside and then decides the error signal which goes to the DC motor and say how much angle to rotate. Now here is an micro servo motor SZ90. This is just a 9 gram servo motor with plastic gears. This motor can rotate up to 180 degree. Here is all the dimensions is given. Now one most important thing is torque 2.5 kg centimeter. That means from the shaft at 1 centimeter away you have to apply 2.5 kg load to stop it. Stall current goes up to 50. Stall current means when you are not allowing the motor to rotate. Now there are three signals. The center is VCC which is the red line. The ground is supposed to be black but generally it is brown. So B for brown, B for black that's how you can remember. Orange one is where you have to give the pulse signal. So in that section you can see the pulse uh, explanation is given what would be the pulse width to rotate how much angle. Now the pulse uh, can vary from 1 to 2 millisecond. This is a metal gear uh, motor um, and the specification here is below. Then these are all the high power servo motor which needs more current and it's uh, like 4 kg centimeter, 8 kg centimeter, 10 kg centimeter. But we will be doing our test in this small servo motor. Just see there are three lines, three wires. I'm going to use Arduino to control. This is an open loop control of the servo motor. Means I'm going to give some signal to rotate in to a particular angle or some angle. So I'll connect the ground. Now for the VDD, I am going to take it from the Arduino board itself because it takes around 140 milliampere in average and maximum 350 so some Arduino board itself can provide so I'm going to connect it at 5 volts and then the signal pin I'm going to connect on the pin number 9 you can see the pin number 9 is having PWM property pulse width modulation Let's connect and load a Arduino program. Open the Arduino IDE and from file go to example and in the servo example there are two examples. One is sweet. Select that. You can see the servo.h is included. Now in the servo library everything is defined so it's very easy to write a program 
like servo dot attached i'm going to write the pin number which is 9 that is a control pin now in a loop i'm going to change the position from 0 degree to 180 degree and then i'm going to write that position after that i'm going to reduce from 0 degree to 180 degree now let's upload this program to the Arduino. You can see it's rotating and then again coming back. And now I know the location where I want that sap to be straight. So I'm going to put a 10 second delay at the very beginning of the loop. You see it's not rotating now and then it will start rotating. You can see, go back. Now I have enough time, so this is the zeroth location. I can feed the sap wherever I want it to be. As per your mechanical design, you can change the location. So another thing, the beauty of the servo is if you do not allow it to rotate, and then signal whatever at the end you are giving it will come back to that location so it will give a precise actual physical movement even somebody stop it it will come back to that location so it's that's why it is very important in robotics so thanks for watching subscribe the channel. in the next video i'll be showing how you can control it in a closed loop manner that is also very much important in robotics then we will be doing some projects with servo motors.